This is the morning office for March 2nd. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and one mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The portion of the Psalter appointed for today is Psalm 103, verses 1 to 12. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities. He redeems your life from the grave and crowns you with mercy and loving kindness. He satisfies you with good things and your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his ways known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so is his mercy great upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Shepherd your people with your staff, the flock that belongs to you, which lives alone in a forest in the midst of a garden land. Let them feed in Bashan and Gilead as in the days of old, as in the days when you came out of the land of Egypt. Show us marvelous things. Who is a God like you, pardoning iniquity and passing over the transgression of the remnant of your possession? He does not retain his anger forever, because he delights in showing clemency. He will again have compassion upon us. He will tread our iniquities underfoot. He will cast all our sins into the depths of the sea. You will show faithfulness to Jacob and unswerving swerving loyalty to Abraham, as you have sworn to your ancestors from the days of old. The Word of the Lord. Jesus, Savior of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Savior and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us, that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. My thought for today begins with the observation from a writer I've seen recently. Silence is God's first language. All else is just a poor translation, the saying of St. John of the Cross. I asked a, a friend of mine who's a, a member of the clergy and who is not a native speaker of English uh, what language she thinks in. It's always interesting to know when someone speaks more than one language whether they think in that other language or how they decide what goes on in their heads. And she said it depended on what she was thinking about and what her mood was and where she was and what she was doing. I wonder how that works for us. If we think of God's first language as being silence, then presumably our own mother tongue is also silence. And then it becomes a question, how do we think? 
in what language do we think? Do we think in the language of words, which are an imperfect reflection of who God is and what God desires? Or do we think in silence? And if we do, how do we do that? Is it possible to imagine yourself using your native language inwardly as you go through your day, letting silence be what it is that guides your decisions, your actions, your emotions, everything about your life. I ask your prayers for the day, the world, and for the church. Today, I invite you to pray for yourself, for all of the things that will come to you today, all the opportunities you will have to make a choice in how you will respond, what those choices will say about your faith, what those choices will say about your relationship with God. Pray also for the world, that we collectively will respond to the love that God continues to send to us again and again and again, how often we have rejected or misused it in the past, and yet God continues to make that overture to us. Pray that we will respond in a loving and faithful way. And pray for the church, which as the, the forerunner of that message in the world is given the job of portraying, showing to the world what it means to be a faithful follower of Jesus. Pray that in our own imperfect, sometimes broken, sometimes indirect way, we will be able to show the world at least a little what the, the love of God means when it is put into action. Grant, most merciful Lord, to your faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>